good morning students in this lecture we will talk about history evolution and a generation of computers when we talk about the history of the computer the computer of today's are totally different in appearance and performance when we compare the computer of earlier days but it is interesting to know how when and where did this technology came from and where it is nowadays to understand this it is important to understand the evolution of computer and very interesting to know the generation of computers let's talk about 5000 years ago in egypt merchants use a device to keep trading transactions called abacus the device which was used to keep trading transaction it was known as abacus this device is still in use today to make computations this device use a system of sliding bits arranged on a rack kind of structure it performs the operation of addition and subtraction after this in 17th century a french mathematician whose name is blaise pascal invented the first mechanical machine which could perform addition subtraction on whole numbers using gears today we use the gear in vehicles at the time gears were used for the calculation purpose it was called pascal's calculator it was invented in 1642 at this time it was not for the commercial use this was used in the research centers only in 1642 lebnais a french mathematician invented a machine that could perform basic arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication and division by using gears and wheels he attached wheel to perform the operation in this machine it was called lebnais calculator or arithmometer the days in which these mechanical machines were invented or used for the arithmetic operations that is or that era was called the time of mechanical calculators because at that time the calculators which were invented they are performing the operation by using the mechanical machines now in 1871 a british mathematician whose name was charles babbage he was in cambridge university he invented the first analytical engine or it was also known as difference engine this machine was the first machine which was programmed by instructions and it was coded by using the punch cards it was also that machine was also have some memory for the storage the storage of the result it was considered as modern first modern computer or it is also known as the known as first design of modern computer 
for the contribution of the Charles Babies in the field of computer he was known as or he is known as the father of the modern digital computer because today's digital computer is following the structure or the design of Charles Babies computer the actual progress in the field of computer is started in 20th century so the generation of computer we consider the generation of computer from 1942 to nowadays when we talk about the generation of computer the actual progress of the computer started in 20th century and it was from 1942 so the first generation of computer is considered from 1942 to 1955 the first computer or the first generation technology use vacuum tubes tube technology vacuum tubes tube was used for the calculation or the first arithmetic operations punch card were used to supply the input in the first generation punch card were also used for the output or tape drives were used for the output machine language for writing programs magnetic tapes and drum for external storage there were no hard disk magnetic tapes and drums were used for the storage the computer of the first generation were very bulky and emitted large amount of heat which requires cooling system because the structure or the design is very large so cooling stations were established with the computers they were large in size and cumbersome to handle they had to manually assembled and had limited commercial use the concept of operating system was not known at the time each computer had a different binary code program called machine language that told it to operate punch card are shown in this and paper tape are shown in the ppt vacuum tube is also shown in the ppt as you see the size of the vacuum tube is large so the size of the processor was also large in this generation there were some computers invented whose name is first computer is mark 1 this was the first fully automatic calculating machine it was designed by the harvard university in collaboration with ibm this machine was an electronic relay computer electromagnetic signals were used for the moment of mechanical parts mark 1 could perform the basic arithmetic and complex equations although this machine was extremely reliable it was very slow it took about 3 to 5 seconds per calculation and was complex in design and large in size after that
some another computers were also some another machines were also designed one out of that one is abc it was atan soft berry computer this computer developed by zon atan soft and califord berry two scientists were design this computer first general it was the first general purpose electronic digital computer it made use of vacuum tube for internal logic and capacitor for storage after that in this first generation another computer used ENIAC in yak electronic numeric integrator and calculator it was the first computer produced by a partnership between the US government and the university of pennsel pennsylvania it was built using 18000 vacuum tubes 17 registers and 100 1050 relays it uses 160 kilowatt of electricity power this computer computed at speed about 1000 times faster than mark 1 however it could store and manipulate only a limited amount of data program modifications and detecting error where find outs next is edvac edvac electronic discrete variable automatic computer it was designed in 1940 by dr john newman with a memory to store both programs and data this was the first machine which used the storage program concept it had five distinct units arithmetic central control memory input and output the key element was the central control all the functions of the computer were coordinate through this signal source this signal source the central control the programming of the computer was done in machine language after that another machine modified machine came in the picture univac and particularly univac 1 universal automatic computer it was known as the universal automatic computer it was the first general purpose computer with which was designed for commercial purpose after that from 1955 to 1964 we consider the second generation of computer because the technology and the storage and the processing has been changed in this particular generation vacuum tube technology was replaced by the transistor technology size of the computer starting reducing that means the size of the computer or the processor has been reduced assembly language started begin used in place of machine language concept of stored program 
emerged high level language were invented so the concept of high level language was started after 1955 this was the generation of transistor computers vacuum tubes were replaced by transistor as a result the size of the machine started shrinking these computers were smaller faster more reliable and more energy efficient the first transistor computer was tx0 the first large scale machine that took advantage of the transistor technology were the early supercomputers ibm and lark were the companies which were in the design of the computer they designed the machine for the commercial purpose the computer typical computer of the second generation were the ibm 1400 ibm 7000 honeywell 200 and general electric they were the computers which were used in second generation the stored program concept and the programming language give the computer flexibility to finally cost effective and productive for business use the stored program concept implies that the instruction to run a computer for a specific task the modified computers can quickly replace one instruction and process it so the speed of the computer increase high level language which were designed at the in the second generation were cobol fortran algol computer started finding various applications the entire software industry began with the second generation computers now when we come to the third generation and the third, third generation considered from 1964 to 1975 in this generation integrated circuits were came in the picture this generation was characterized by the invention of the integrated circuits they are particularly known as ics they are very small chip which was made for quartz later when more component were fitted into single chip called semiconductor this reduces the size more the weight and the power consumption of computer decreased and the speed increase very heavily the complete emphasis was given to the development of the software in this generation so the operating system were designed which allows the machine to run many different program at once so multitasking came in the picture or multi programming came in the picture in the third generation the machine could perform several jobs at the same time computer achieved speed of extremely million of instructions per second now the computer can execute million of instructions per second computer production became easier and cheaper because the size is reduced higher language higher level language like pascal cobol fortran pl1 were designed in this particular generation 
So we can say in this generation use of integrated circuit started phenomenal increase in the computation speed substantial reduce in size and power consumption of machines use of magnetic tapes and drums for external storage design of operating system and new higher level languages came in this generation commercial production of computer is also in this generation of computer now we talk about the fourth generation of computer and we consider the fourth generation right nowadays we are also in fourth generation so it is considered from 1975 to present age of the computer in this particular generation the ICs were modified and they become very large scale integrated circuits VLSI came in the picture which could fit hundreds of components on one chip and VLSI which can squinch thousand of component on one chip Intel 4004 chip located all the component of a computer we can say central processing unit memory input and output controls on a single chip that was known as the microcomputers and so we can say microcomputers were introduced in this particular generation higher capacity storage media like magnetic tapes were developed magnetic disk were developed optical disk also came in the picture this particular generation was also known as the era of the software and as compared to hardware software were more popular computers produce production became inexpensive and the era of personal computer we known as PC or commercialization of computer in 1981 IBM introduced its personal computer for use in office home and schools and research centers in direct competition the machine toast was introduced by the APA in 1984 it was built and uploaded with heavy softwares which can perform huge amount of task defining the fourth generation the computer started became more and more powerful they could be linked together or network to share not only data but also memory space and software the network could reach enormous proportion which local area network a global web of computer circuitry was also designed it was known as internet and world wide web www was also uh, came in the picture for the single network information so when we talk about the fourth generation of computer it use VLSI invention of microcomputers introduce introduction of personal computer networking internet fourth generation language also came in the picture 
and use amount of data can be stored on the web servers now coming to the fifth generation actually the fifth generation is not started commercial although the design and the computers of the fifth generation were in the in the research centers but not in the market in the fifth generation expert systems what do you mean by expert system the computer which can perform natural language processing which can understand the human language they can accept spoken words as input they can recognize the voice they can recognize the face they use a use parallel processing technology they have a huge amount of data storage capacity and artificial intelligent softwares the softwares which can intelligently recognize the nature changes and face recognition they are in the fifth generation so we can say fifth generation computers use of arithmetic in artificial intelligence parallel processing supercomputer technology voice recognition and natural language processing ibm designed ibm watson computer in the harvard university it was a supercomputer and more other companies are designing other supercomputers nowadays robot are also in the picture who are handling the malls without the uh, human beings so we can say in the fifth generation computer totally it is artificial intelligence era so this is about the generation of computer thank you